Welcome, welcome, welcome. And this is Flame Working 101.5. And in this uh, little video here, I'm going to demonstrate how to do what we call the Harlequin pattern. And it's simple, but it's tricky at the same time because this is another um, a good exercise for precise dot placement which is where everything begins when you start making beads. I really think that getting that down um, is the first step of being a good bead maker, flame worker, lamberger, whatever you want to do, but um, laying the dots down. So in these, I'm going to make uh, two beads. I don't know if I'm going to show them both being made, but I'm going to make two beads and I feel like using primary colors today, so we'll use uh, red, yellow, and blue. It's a great bead to practice, 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 have a lot of fun with. And of course, if you're feeling good about your dots, then give this one a try. Make it like 40 or 50 times, make some great stuff out of it, and then um, just keep going. Okay, and we will see you after the demonstration. Okay, so we're gonna start this uh, little bead here. I'm gonna use the red, and I'm just going to heat up my mandrel first and add my first uh, little footprint bead. And ooh, that little uh, bit of glass just popped right off. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna continue to add a couple wraps to this, and um, we're just gonna make a nice medium size well not even medium size it's a small bead it's not like a pony bead or anything but um, it's a little bit bigger than that and uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more here just so I have enough glass on this bead to put all these dots on and that's gonna be important sometimes I feel like the larger the bead is the easier it is to focus on harder patterns because you have more room. And there I am messing with the camera. <laughs> this whole camera setup has just got me going. Okay, so let's add our dots. <clears throat> We're gonna add them right onto the very equator of the bead. And I'm gonna add these a little closer to each other, unlike the four dot pattern. I'm just spacing them out after I lay down the second one, trying to get each one exactly the same width apart. And I cross my fingers that this very last one, boink, right there was perfect. And I got lucky. Now we're going to quickly, oh, I guess this is real time. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add these other dots here, just in between. And I'm adding them just kind of on the lower side. And this is another reason why I like to work in the middle because I can easily turn the mandrel around and then add the other dots. And you want to get into it. You know, it's like this weird sewing machine action of the needle. And that's it, really. All you're doing at this point is doing very, very even heating. If you are uneven in your heat, your dots will not melt down all at the same time. Therefore, your pattern will not look um, like this. Okay, and there's our Harlequin pattern, and you can see why they call it that. Here's the next one that I did, and I'm just going to heat this one up. I didn't record this one, but uh, I just wanted to show that even, even heat, and then the color and that's it, it's just adding those dots in around. It's just making this pattern over and over again. Okay, well, let's see how these uh, little beads turned out. Oh, not bad. Here they are. And as always, we will take them upstairs, clean them out and see how they turn out. This. Okay, but before we can show them off for real, we gotta clean out that bead release using my Dremel tool 
and my tapered diamond drill bit. Well, it's not really a drill bit, but it's a bit. Cool.